you distracted Subconscious overloaded Careful, don't pull the cord on me We got a new camera. You see, traditionally we shoot, we shoot exclusively on, on Canon. But this camera, a little bit different. If you know anything about cameras, then you know the two main competitors are going to be Sony and, and Canon. And it's not that one is better than the other, they're just, they're different. Did you see that? That almost hit me. Anyway. It's starting to rain, so let's do it. Okay. I've been working on playing more open-handed, that way my right hand can play on the drum pad simultaneously, and it's a, <laughs> it's a workout. It's a physical workout, and it's also a mental workout. Speaking of physical workouts, I'm gonna go take a shower, because I'm super sweaty now, and I feel really, I feel really nasty. I'll be right back. I broke two sticks during that, during that practice session. <laughs> so since I'm testing this camera today, I figured I would keep with that theme in this video. I wanted to talk about how to set your camera up to get really good, solid videos of you playing drums or whatever instrument uh, you may be shooting. It doesn't matter what camera it's on, iPhone, DSLR, mirrorless camera, anything. Whatever camera you're using, these, uh, these tips will apply to that. There's three things that I focus on when I'm setting the camera up to shoot. That's going to be the aperture or the f-stop, the ISO, and the white balance. And depending on the look I'm going for, I'm going to adjust those three things accordingly. The first thing is going to be the aperture or f-stop. Typically, when I'm shooting, I'm going to want something that's going to give me the shallowest depth of field that I possibly can get. For this lens, it's going to be f2.8. And what that's going to do is it's going to make me the subject pop out from the background by blurring the background a little bit and giving me depth from, from that, causing your eye to go to the subject, which is me playing drums. You can raise and lower the aperture depending on what look you're going for, but typically the higher you go, the less depth of field you're gonna have, meaning the less the background's gonna be blurred, and the lower you go, the more the background's gonna be blurred, causing you to look at the subject that is in focus. 
The next thing's gonna be the ISO, and for me, I like to keep the ISO at whatever is native to that camera, meaning whatever ISO the camera performs best at, I like to keep it as close to that as possible. And for me, I like to slightly overexpose my image because that gives the sense of the space being bigger than it actually is. And to do that, instead of upping the ISO, I just add more lights. In a lot of my videos, you notice I'm surrounded by lights, and that's because I want to give my image is slightly overexposed, specifically one stop above, perfectly exposed, and that makes the space seem a lot bigger than it actually is. The last thing is going to be the white balance. Typically, I like to shoot at 5600 Kelvin, but I also do shoot with the auto white balance if I want it just to be straight down the middle or if I'm switching from two different lighting sources. But nine times out of 10, I'm gonna be shooting at 5600, which is also daylight. And I set all my lights to 5600, giving it a nice, clean, bright look to it. That's basically it. It's not super difficult. Uh, if you want me to make a more in-depth video talking about this stuff or how I do that for my iPhone, because I have shot exclusively on my iPhone for a couple of my videos on my Instagram, let me know and I will, uh, I'll be more than happy to, to make that video. Setting a camera up isn't hard. It's just knowing a couple of basic fundamental things. And if you do know those things, you can get a great image out of pretty much any camera. And it'll help highlight your plane and make your drum videos or whatever video is making that much better. I wonder if it stopped raining. I hope so. It stopped raining, it's just really windy and cold now. See you tonight. There's nothing worse than a uh, Windy cold rain.